God bless you, precious people out there. My name is Prophetess Loretta Kwanza. Today's message is titled, What to do when you do not know what to do. What to do when you do not know what to do. Hallelujah. Uh, but before I go on, I would like to sing a song and in my dialect. And the song um, brings to light who our God is. Hallelujah. And what he can do. As in, everything is possible with him. Hallelujah. Our God is able to do all things. Why? Because he is an amazing God. Or he is a wonderful God. Hallelujah. Yes, unyamia, oyomwa wenni, bidya ramso, no ye, hallelujah. Ono na kasa, adina yedi, bidya ramso, no ye. Ti jansa ni fa so redima yen Enum ti yen su roshi Yesu nyamiya Yesu nyamiya Oyoma wen mi vidya Vidya ramsu no ye Ono na kasa ono na kasa Hallelujah, Dina Yeko. Breathe your so no, yeah. Oh, your one, me, my jinqua. Oh, your one, where, me. Oh, my jinqua, me, she, me. Oh, your one. to do is the title for my message for today hallelujah the word of god makes it clear to us in psalms chapter 46 verse 1 he says god is our refuge and strength a very present help in time of trouble hallelujah the bible also makes it clear to us that we are in this world but we are not of this world therefore as long as we find ourselves in this world it means that there is a possibility of we finding ourselves in situations that are, I mean, difficult for us to bear. Um, it means that um, it is possible for us to find ourselves in circumstances where we think there is nothing we can do for ourselves. Hallelujah. I believe that is why the Lord has brought me to you this afternoon to tell you that whatever situation you find yourself in as a Christian, you should make up your mind or choose. Hallelujah. You need to make that decision. Hallelujah. To run to the refuge we have in our Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Why? Because the Lord is our refuge and our strength. When you realize that your strength is gone down, you have to call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to strengthen you. Hallelujah. The Bible makes it clear to us, according to the book of Matthew, that when Jesus Christ was about to depart from this I mean, earth or from this world to go to the Father in heaven, he said to his disciples that he's not going to leave them as orphans, but he is going to leave them in the hands of the Holy Spirit, who is going to be the helper and the comforter of the church. Who is the church? The church is you and I who have given their life, I mean, our lives to Christ Jesus. We are the church. We are the body of Christ. Hallelujah. So whenever we find ourselves in troubles or in, in calamities or in disaster, we should always make up our minds, hallelujah, to run to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who is known as the God of our refuge and strength, according to Psalm chapter 46, sorry, verse 1, hallelujah. And I believe we'll be able to do that by, number one, um, choosing to have um, 
faith or we must choose to walk in faith the word of god makes it clear to us that without faith it is impossible to please god so the only way to touch the heart of our living god is praying to the lord as in i mean walking or running into the refuge of our lord god almighty through prayer hallelujah what is prayer prayer is um the communication between um a believer and our lord god almighty prayer can also be you pouring what is on your heart onto your lord god almighty in the heavens through faith hallelujah because without faith everything you do in prayer or everything you do um which is known as prayer will not please the lord god almighty i also want to say here that when we pray to the lord we must expect our living god to respond or provide answers unto us hallelujah so whenever we find ourselves in bad situations we do not have to allow the enemy to triumph over us but we should choose to be strong and courageous hallelujah and we should be wise enough to run to our living god hallelujah who is our refuge and strength and i believe when we do that the lord god almighty is going to lift up his right hand which the book of psalms describes as the right i mean as the strength of our god hallelujah and in his right hand is going to pull us from those problems hallelujah to remove shame and limitations in order for us to have joy and peace hallelujah and victory at the end in the name of jesus i also want us to look at um psalm chapter 46 verse 10 it says that we should be still and know that he is god hallelujah after we've done all that we can in our god and we are waiting for the lord to respond to our prayers we do not need to do anything we just need to be still hallelujah what does it mean to be still to be still means do not do anything it means be calm and relax in your God, even as you meditate on his greatness, even as you, you give him praise. Hallelujah. The Bible says, um, when we praise the Lord, our Lord God Almighty calms down to inhabit the praises of his people. So when we have done everything we are expected to do as Christians and we are waiting on the Lord for our answers, we just need to choose to be still, hallelujah. Choosing to be still means, Lord, I've surrendered everything to you and I'm watching you move on my behalf. When we do that, I assure you, my dear brother and sister, victory is gonna be our portion at the end in the name of Jesus. Therefore, I came here today to tell you to wipe away your tears because you serve a living God who reigns forever. Our God is not a God who is dead, hallelujah. He's a God who is alive. He's the kind of God who sees and hears the cry of his people, hallelujah. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Once you decided to follow Jesus Christ, I tell you, even though the calamities and the challenges of this world will come your way, but the Lord God Almighty, who is faithful, faithful, hallelujah, and able to bring you out of every shame and pain, will definitely put smiles on your face. And the whole world will know that you and I serve a living God who is for his people and nothing and no one in this world hallelujah shall be against us in jesus mighty name amen